This is my neat old Craftsman bench grinder. It came from my father-in-law's sheet metal shop. It made him sharpen a lot of tools with it. The pedestal that it's mounted on came from an old spot welder that was at the shop also. But it had become too old and broken to repair anymore. So I scrapped the spot welder and I kept the neat old pedestal to mount my bench grinder to. It's been that way for about eight years, but I think I want to change it now. See, I have this neat old Wilton vise that I drag out and use here and there once in a while. It's always a pain in the butt and I get frustrated because it flops around because it's not bolted down to anything. So I've been looking for something that I could attach it to that would make it portable so that I could move it around and use it wherever I need to. I've been looking at this neat old pedestal and I'm thinking that it's going to be the perfect place to mount my neat old Wilton vise. Before I begin I'll need to unplug the bench grinders power cord from the power supply. Now I'll need to turn the neat old craftsman bench grinder around so that we can see what kind of tools we'll need to get it off the neat old pedestal. Okay, let's take a closer look at the bolt so that we can see what size tool we'll need to get it out. And it looks like it's a 9 16 to me. So I'll need to go over to the Craftsman toolbox to get the tools that we'll need to get the neat old Craftsman bench grinder off the neat old pedestal. A 3 8 drive ratchet and 9 16 long socket should do it. 3 8 drive ratchet. nine sixteenths long drive socket and to get the length I need I think I'll grab this three eighths drive long extension as well three eighths drive ratchet long three eighths drive extension long nine sixteenths drive socket One down, one to go. Almost a little bit more. Come on. Okay, now I can lift my neat old craftsman bench grinder off the neat old pedestal and replace it with the Neat old Wilton Vice. I think instead of mounting the vice center on the plate, 
I'm going to move it up to somewhere about there. That'll allow for this edge of the fixed jaw to extend past the tabletop of the neat old pedestal so that if I want to put something long into the vise I can do that without the tabletop interfering. And that's a pretty good location right there so I'll need to take a measurement to the center of the hole. So we'll say that the hole is seven and three eighths from the far edge of the tabletop on the neat old pedestal. Now I'll need to get the neat old Wilton vise off the neat old pedestal so that I can make my first line that the vise is going to be centered on. So I'll make my first mark at seven and three eighths. And come down here, make another mark at seven and three eighths. And then I can take the straight edge to connect the two. Now that's the line that the vise is going to sit center on that line. Now I'm going to flip this sucker over so that we can figure out what the distance is from the center of this hole to the center of this hole. I can get a quick accurate measurement with my dial caliper. First I'll measure the diameter of the hole And that measures to be about 0 0.520. Next I'll take a measurement from the outside edge of this hole here to the outside edge of this hole here. And that measures to be about 5.620. So now I can take the 5.620 minus one hole diameter of 0.520 and that equals 5.100. So the distance from hole center to hole center is 5.100. Now I need to figure out where the center point of this line is here so that I know where to put my 5.100 spaced holes to center the vise on the pedestal this way.